Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Apex 2016 and I'm joined by David Bergman from IPC. David, great to see you. We know you for the uh, international relations for um, IPC, see you in China and Europe, but you've just opened an office in Europe and there are some developments there. Tell me about that. It's very exciting. Uh, you know, we have a lot of members, over 550, maybe almost 600 members now, and uh, we wanted to bring additional staff support. So uh, we're just recently announced uh, our opening of our Brussels office. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three staff members uh, that are working for us there. Uh, they supplement the staff members that we've had for some time. I'm sure you know Lars, uh, mm -hmm. who's been with us for many years, and Yuri's in, in Russia. And so, uh, but um, in addition to having staff which can help us with events and, and membership support, uh, we're going to have a government relations efforts and so we've we've engaged a partner there uh, that will be uh, looking uh, at a list of, of topics. I mean there's many topics you can always go after uh, and uh, follow uh, but we're going to narrow down to the ones that are applicable to the IPC members so uh, that's an exciting new addition um, as well because of the uh, we we, uh, we published our most recent European-led uh, standard was was an addendum for the automotive industry for our printed circuit board mm -hmm. standard. This was uh, European-led. Uh, the chair was from Almatica in Norway, and we had all the we had many of the the uh, automotive electronics yeah. companies involved, and so we have an, a new standard there, and that drew in uh, Continental Electronics or Continental, yeah. and uh, they were participating in that uh, committee. Uh, asked us a lot more questions about IPC programs and yeah. plans and uh, they agreed to have one of their uh, senior staff uh, be on IPC board of directors which wow. he was just uh, elected this week and didn't stop there they saw they saw that uh, benefit and um, we started talking about uh, creating a new standard again European driven mm -hmm. uh, on press fit pin boards and this is something I've actually tried to uh, we, we have some really old standards in this technology and I couldn't get the, the U.S. guys interested in it. So I went, as soon as I heard that, I said, oh, I've been trying to do this for years. So yeah. highly welcome. Uh, and so that's very exciting. So with all of this standards activity uh, being driven uh, or interest being driven in Europe, um, we hired a, a staff member uh, to, to re be part of the technical staff, the standard yeah. staff. And so uh, we have a, a, a Manager, standards manager uh, works out of uh, his office in Estonia okay. and uh, he will cover European standards and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So an increasing footprint in Europe and you, you mentioned that the staff would be able to help with events. What events do you have planned for this year in Europe? Well the current, so so we have uh, for SMT Nuremberg we have like we have here this hand soldering competition. Mm -hmm. uh, we teamed up with Bob Willis to do a rework uh, competition there which is the first time there so we have a big footprint at mm -hmm. uh, SMT Nuremberg which is exciting. Uh, the, the next month uh, in Dusseldorf we're going to have a reliability conference mm -hmm. and more to come. We're talking about a uh, a, a GR type event and I don't know if they've uh, set the date yet probably in the third quarter uh, talk about government relations issues yeah. so we'd like we have our impact event here in DC but we'll try and do something similar there so uh, we have a, uh, a you know of course you want to to get a group of the industry together so you're listening to the voice of the customer we have a European Council uh, that uh, is uh, being put together they'll probably meet telephonically for, uh, for in, the, in the next couple weeks and see if we get a face-to-face -face meeting and we hope uh, they will they will be giving us a lot of feedback to help uh, give some direction to how IBC yeah. should best serve. Yeah and it's a growing team there so exciting times. Fantastic well David thanks for stopping by to chat and uh, good luck with those projects in Europe and we'll talk again soon. Sounds Thank good. you. Good to see you.